Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And welcome home. It's been a little while. I've been off in Aqualand for quite some time. Uh, so I came back, want to undertake a couple projects while I'm here. Scrub off some speed here. Uh, I'm going to stop by the iron farm, see what's been going on there and, uh, grab some stuff and have some things to do. Oh, somebody cleared out the iron just a little bit, clean out the the poppies too and added some to here wow okay that's cool so we're, we're coming along <coughs> pardon me still thinking of building oh hi mr iron golem don't don't worry it's not gonna hurt for too long still thinking of building a bigger iron farm out by spawn um just haven't <sighs> it's a lot of work and haven't uh I don't know. I have other things to do. And we've got iron here. People aren't, you know, we we got more iron than people are using. I mean, sure, I'd like to get to the point where I can use iron as building blocks, as scaffolding, but... Oh. Trees. Somebody dropped the sapling. Somebody cut down some trees. All right. So, what are we going to do? Let's, uh, let's go back home. I'll swing by... Actually, let's, let's do a little tour. Sure. I didn't, I needed to use three rockets to do that. Let's go see if there's been any updates out here at the amusement park. I think it's been a little bit quiet on the server. Um, I've been a little busy myself, but it's been a couple weeks since I've recorded anything. And I think it's look largely the same. I need to build a race course out here. I don't know what's going on with that. All right. So, uh, I, as I believe I mentioned on the last video or two, um, I was preparing for an audition at the Magic Castle. And that audition happened on Monday. Uh, it was a really great experience. Um, they made me feel welcome and... and uh, and like I kind of belonged there, which was great. Um, I did not pass the audition, but apparently very few people do on their first audition. So, um, and I wasn't entirely expecting to, because I'm not a great performer. Uh, and all of their feedback, and they did give me feedback, which I wasn't entirely expecting, but it's great that they did. All their feedback was performance-based. Uh, and they gave me some suggestions and some, some hints and whatnot, so... I just need a little bit more time just practicing for people. And one of the things I did, I will probably drop because it's not a great trick. And I was trying to show off stuff that I made. And they point out that I could just show off the stuff that I made. And I don't necessarily have to perform the effect, which is kind of cool. What was that down there? There's a cave down here. What's going on? Well, I saw something moving out of the corner of my eye. Is that the pig? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, let me uh, let me grab some stuff and let's go get started on project for today. There's a whole pack of wither skeletons there. I wonder if we can get ourselves a skull. I left that beacon set up over in... Aqualand or SeaWorld or whatever you want to call it. Um, mostly so. Whoa. Uh, uh, something changed here. Why are they able to walk up on my sidewalk?
and I got withered. Ugh. Okay, and I don't believe I actually got, ooh, I, I got hurt. Wow. Okay, uh, something something changed. Um, did the the wither skeleton height change in 1.13.2? Because they they should not have been able to get up on on my sidewalks there. That's a little disconcerting. Okay, well, that's an issue for another day. Hmm. You remember this place? Inside the pyramid. And we've got our little single chunk farms kind of chugging away. Not too much lately. Well, hello, Mr. Slime. You're going to die. Look at that. Slime farm is working wonderfully. I've got lots of slime balls. And I've already I've taken some of those. So um, that's two full shulker boxes of slime blocks, I guess. Cactus, ton of cactus. The squid farm doesn't work anymore. That we will have to do something about. But, you know, there's, that's a lot of ink sacks. And the sugar cane farm, yeah, chugging away. It'll do more now that I'm here. And I fixed the problems. I had some, some issues with um, things getting stuck. Thought I heard some lava. Mere water. I wonder if there's a pool of lava not too far. Okay, so I've got two more holes here, and I've got supplies for doing something with the holes. I'm gonna make two more single chunk farms. Uh, I was gonna do just one and make it combined, but I don't think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, what I've got here is I've got. I've got villagers. Got a couple nitwits, which the intention was to make a villager village breeder, which I can't do in here because they don't have sky access, so I can't make them think they're in a village. So, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. But these guys are all potato farmers. I've got five potato farmers. And over here I've got two guys that started out as potato farmers, but they now have carrots. And judging from all of this, I think they only have carrots and they filled each other up with carrots. So I think they're safe as carrot farmers. I only have two of them though. I don't know how many I'm gonna need. I'm I was thinking maybe six. So I was planning on using three of these guys and then getting a couple more of these guys and building up automatic carrot and potato farms in here, layered up, but then I realized, and then I'm gonna have to do a sorting system, multiple shulker box loaders, and honestly, I've got enough potato farmers there that I may as well just do, I'm gonna build this as a potato farm. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these shulker boxes here Bloop. and grab this one bloop and then let's get down there Whew. yay all right so this is and I have to keep the keep a real close eye on this so this is where this is gonna go up I'm gonna have a water column here and I have to figure out exactly how I'm going to do that I did that on a couple of the other farms here but I think I maybe didn't do it quite right. So they work. So I may replicate it. I don't know. But anyway, so this is this is uh, my sort of take on the whole single chunk. I need this actually, I think I just need five. Put up um, the whole single chunk farm idea for oh, I got the wrong box okay hang on a second so anyway as I said I've got I've got a bunch of I've got a bunch of stuff here so let me get this started and this should be 
what I need to get going, uh, but we will see. So you've probably seen people build farms based on this, this process um, before somewhat recently. It's gotten popular. It sort of uses light level. So if I step in here, I've got light level eight and it'll be a little bit lower when I get the layers in. But the idea being that if this were, if the, these were tilled to farmland, I could not plant and these torches weren't here and these torches were lanterns one block below the surface. Um, you could not plant, uh, you could not plant crops here. Uh, the, if you tried, they would just pop off immediately. And so we're going to bring in a villager and we're going to induce him to try and plant crops here. And then he won't be able to, and there will be hoppers underneath in order to grab the ones that he does. So, um, and then I'm going to need, uh, let's do it like this. And then we'll have a line of hoppers picking up the crops from those said blocks. But we need to build up around this a little bit, and then we need something to force an update of those blocks. So can I do this? Yes. It's weird that you can you can place things on hoppers, but you know, hey. Uh, and then these torches are indicating where I'm going to put the lights. And then right here, I'm going to do it here. Do it here. Let's do it here. Uh, I will plop. And here I'm going to put a block because I don't need to waste a hopper there because there will be two observers on top of this. So let me finish up this layer and we will show you how this is going to work. Okay, <clears throat> so you can see these four blocks in the center. When the, when the light source is one block down below are uh, light level seven. And I believe that is too low to be planted. And doing this, I need to get some glass. So I have two wide walls here, right? This is the wall that, that fits outside of this is outside the chunk, this is inside the chunk, and the design I have is sort of built around having a wall on the first layer inside the chunk as well. So I will need to work on that a little bit. So this is the first layer, and I could probably come up with a ways of making this a little less, um, uh, a little more compact, but I'm not going to because I think this will produce plenty of potatoes as it is. So I need to build up another round around here. I need to go get some glass. And I think I may have um, miscalculated how much stone I need. So, so, and I, but I have, I have, I believe stores of stone from other projects in the, in the uh, pyramid here. So not too worried um, I can get I have all the stone I need um, but I I created a shulker box for each layer of this and I don't think I put I think I miscalculated how much stone was actually necessary so I'm gonna build up the next layer which is where we're gonna get into um, dirt and stuff I think I have to look up my my design notes. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do this from memory. I should have gone and built another copy of this in my creative world, where I where I built and designed it, and I know this works. Um, I should have before I started recording. I should have gone and done that. I did not. But give me a sec, and I need to make sure. Pretty sure that this goes here like this and that these get replaced. 
Uh, and then I have to put in some, I think the dirt layer goes up next. So I may have enough, I may have just enough stone, so I may have calculated correctly. Blop. And I'm just using torches as uh, markers, where the stuff goes. Uh, I have ice, I believe. I have ice. <laughs> I have ice. Okay, good. I have ice and sea lanterns because I left that out with the initial block, uh, the shulker boxes. I forgot that I need those as well. So it wouldn't surprise me if I forgot some stuff. So, okay, I'm going to build up one more layer here and then we will come back. All right, so one thing I need here is a hopper clock and not a hopper clock a observer clock because i need to update the dark patches and you push these down and one needs to go there and for this purpose i brought some stuff i brought pistons and I brought redstone so let's uh, let's go do this and all right so we have to get a little creative because I got bedrock down there um, and I have to be able to push this stuff down so there we go and one more right yeah, there we go. Now we can grab these back. Now I'm going to put dirt in at this layer here. And this guy, when I put a, a, a dot of redstone on top of this, will update the blocks around it. And because these are too dark, it will then force them to be uh, kick off any crops that are attempted to be planted. So this goes down. So there's no hopper underneath this because there doesn't need to be because no one's ever going to plant anything there. So now it's time for dirt. So I just made a little bit of a mistake on my original design and I'm gonna have to redo a little bit here. I don't think it's a big deal, but uh, I need another layer of bricks. And as I said, you could probably, you could do this more efficiently. I could build it with fewer layers of blocks in between each, but I'm going to do it this way because that's the way I designed it and I know it works. Um, get all sorts of kooky, spooky sounds down here. Okay. And I have plenty of stone bricks. Uh, I, I did calculate correctly. So, uh, the interesting challenge is going to be I have to oh, come on I have to move these and I can place a stone brick here actually this might allow me to place the set observer where I want it no I guess not whoops I wish that they would change it so that, is that right? Yes. So that is roughly where it needs to go. I need to put a block right there. Get rid of that. And then I need to place, I put back, back all the other stuff do I need those yes I will need those but not just the moment all right so Mojang put in a debug tool during the 1.13 snapshots which is like a, a wrench type thing that they have in some modded where you can modify a brick 
and um, rotate it was one of the things that it could do. There we go. That's at the right height. Now I just fill stuff in. Oh, I need, do you need those hoppers? Because I need to place hoppers on here. Because this is where things are going to get picked up. Okay. So it'd be really nice if you, I didn't have to go through those kind of machinations to get these two faced each other. I could just place a couple of the blah, a couple of observers, and then sort of adjust them where I want them to be. Which if you were building stuff in real life with, you know, observers, which, you know, of course don't exist, um, that would be kind of how you would go about doing it. You'd place it and then you sort of adjust it till it was where you needed it to be. But, um, that was a debug tool and it did not make it into the full release. Um, if it did, I would I would be using it. <laughs> I would let I would let people use it because it's a kind of a pain in the butt. So okay, I'm gonna lay in this layer of bricks and pick up my miscellaneous stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna lay in this layer of bricks and then we'll take a look and see what the next steps are. It worked! 